Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics. Mike Sorg up here in this piece. Right, sure. Uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitters, of course, Sorgatron.com. Sign up. We talk about things on the newsletter and let you know what's going on uh, in, in this show as well. Uh, so uh, I want to talk a little bit today about uh, getting things done. Uh, the, I believe David Allen is the author. I, I've listened to the audio book uh, some five, six years ago when I was really trying to up my game and, and, and get out into the freelance world and, and, and be a little more independent and just be a little more efficient. And um, if you're not familiar, uh, you know, one of the basic takeaways is really kind of taking all that stuff you have to do out of your head and putting it on a list is one of the big parts. There's, there's several points to that. It's very complicated, but it's one of the big takeaways. It's really important because if you're like, oh, I got to do such and such, um, and that weighs on your brain and it's taking up this space in your brain and and, and it's adding worry because like, I got to do that thing. I got to do that thing. Um, so the idea is to take that, that task list out of your brain, especially when you have uh, you know, a lot of us in our busy lives, like I got to take care of work things. I got to take out me things. I got to take care of hobby things. I got to take my second job things, my freelance things, because I got a day job and I got to manage those. And now you're a freelancer and you have to say, I have this client has a list of things. This client has a list of things I need to do. I can't really worry about this list on Monday because I have all day with this client. So now I can push that list to Tuesday and just attack that on Tuesday. Those kinds of things are happening. And that's kind of how um, I try to manage my life so, so it all kind of makes sense, right? And one of the ways I do that, and, and this is going to be a how-to thing, and maybe uh, I'll explain as much as I can to help you guys on audio, um, but I use a site, and I've been using a site for so, so long now. Uh, it's ridiculous now I think about it. Uh, remember the milk.com, as, as, as funny as that sounds, and there's, there's other task lists out there, but this is the one I really kind of baked all my stuff into. And um, a funny thing happens with getting things done is, there's okay you did the stuff now you kind of keep need to keep maintaining it right so sometimes my task list gets out of un unwieldy because i keep adding little bits little bits as i have like oh i can't oh i need to do that thing every week when i do my podcast right but then it becomes a bunch of little things and it gets unwieldy and you have to pare that down a little bit um so let me let me talk about a little bit of how i i use uh remember the milk now if you go check it out it is a free site that you can use free service. Um, there is a fee for a pro version. And what that pro version gets you is you actually get um, early access to uh, one of the cool things recently is early access to their next version, a very well, well upgraded version. That's really helped me a lot. Um, as well as a uh, uh, ready access to the apps on your iPhone, on your iPad, so you can be mobile with that task list. And I haven't really got it working too well, but there's also methods that you can um, integrate it with the to-do list on your phone, um, at least on iOS. So Siri can kind of interact with it a little bit, much in the same way you can add a calendar item and have that sync to your Google Calendar or something else. Um, but again, I haven't really mastered that part of it, so I'm not the person to talk to about it, but I know those options are out there. And it integrates pretty well with a lot of calendar and and, and task list kind of applications across many formats. Dig into that on your own at rememberthemilk.com. So this is how I'm using it. Uh, just to give a little idea. And I don't think I have too much too sensitive going on here that you can kind of see what's going on. Now, it, this just kind of looks like a jumbled mess and there's my screensaver uh, to begin with. But one big thing I have, you know, it depends on how you kind of look at things. There's all tasks, so it's just everything, no matter what, right? Uh, there's today, tomorrow, this week. What are tasks that I've given to others? Um, again, I haven't gotten other people on this platform. I'd really love that for just a, hey, as I'm trying to, you know, direct people to do things in my in my business. Um, but I have these uh, set up for like, you know, I have uh, uh, topics for this show for basic sorgonomics, actually still under the old name of Good Morning is what I used to call this about a year ago. Um, I have tasks for IndieWrestling.us. I have tasks for things I want to get done around the podcast studio. Tasks for one of my clients, Namaste, that we're doing the Fishing Without Bait um, podcast. Uh, and then you go on here and then there's other things that are kind of, you know, you know, going on right now. I was kind of testing an ongoing projects task list. That didn't really work too well. Um, Seclair is one of my clients. I All I do is go in there once a week. And so, and, and, and if I'm not on hours with them, I should not be thinking about anything of this list. So this big list going on here um, of 56 tasks and one overdue, <laughs> technically, um, 
I don't worry about until Monday. This hides until Monday. I don't even look at this stuff until Monday, or I push everything to Monday, and it's really nice with that. Um, and, and it goes on. You know, there's one for just internal stuff I need to do for Sorgatron Media, internal stuff I need to do just for the podcast stuff that we do every week, and just kind of splitting those things up. And the nice thing that I'm finding, and, and the new thing I'm trying to do, because I, I keep moving from task to task throughout the day, and, and not in the most efficient way. And I'm trying to get better at that. And one thing I want to do is say, okay, this is a half an hour a day you're going to dedicate to working on, say, IndieWrestling.us. Okay, here's like a, an hour a day you're going to work on um, dealing with the processes and promotions and maybe advertisers if we get to that point with, uh, with, with the podcast or the Wrestling Mayhem Show or something like that. So I can just pull up this task list, spend a half an hour, an hour, whatever the time may be of just knocking things out for that thing and then move on to a client perhaps and say, okay, we're going to work an hour with, uh, with, with this, this client today and this project today. And here's the stuff we need to get done and just knock out that stuff. As long as there isn't anything that's due that day that you really need to get on no matter what. Um, and through that method, I'm hoping you're visualizing with me as I'm going. Uh, through that method, um, I'm able to talk, knock off tasks, feel like I'm moving ahead instead of doing the giant mass of, oh man, I got all this stuff to do. Because anytime you go to this and you look at all your tasks, you're just going to want to give up and go probably play on Facebook. Trust me. <laughs> or do other things. And that is the biggest, biggest enemy of a freelancer, of a self-employed, of a self-motivator, self-working kind of person. And that is the biggest thing I think most of us have to fight when we don't have a boss lording, lording over us. I mean, it, 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 it's that management thing. You know what I mean? Um, and it's, it's having the motivation to do something like that, having the motivation and the patience to figure out a system like this. Now, what I'm describing for you today may not be, may not work for you, may not work with the way your mind works for this, um, but you know, everybody's kind of looking at a more efficient way to do things. And if it's something you can wrap your head around and, and, and it does help you kind of get through the day and get more done in the day without just adding less sleep to the day, um, I think anything like that is going to be a victory for you. So consider, first of all, if you have the moment, if go, go get the, uh, audible free, uh, uh, first book or something and go get the audio book of getting things done. If you're not on that service or whatever the case may be, go get it from your library. Um, it should be out there in the library, to be honest. Um, read it. Check it out. If you're saying, i got to do something about this organization, I think it's a really good thing. There, you can get a little too deep into it. Again, I should go back and read it again because one thing I should be doing is actually it, it actually advises you to go write down some things as you're going and make a list of this, this, and this, and, and, and that kind of stuff. I didn't do that. I listened to it while I was working on stuff, you know, in the background, you know, like radio, and I glommed little bits and pieces off of it. And um, there's actually a lot of, uh, that's one show that I, I listened to, uh, Back to Work with Marlon Mann and Dan Benjamin on the 5 to five, 5 by 5 network, uh, go through there and look for um, one episodes where they talk about getting things done or sometimes they just call it GTD or David Allen is, is attached to them sometimes. There's good interviews with him across many podcasts. Um, I think it's a good place to start. I caution you from getting too deep into what they call productivity porn. Um, sometimes you listen to and... and, and <laughs> And pay attention to and act upon too many productivity verticals and ideas that you don't actually settle into something and learn something and get something done. A lot of what we talk about here is you need to execute and stop. Great Ideas are great, but you need to execute. Productivity and organization is great, but did you actually produce anything? is a question that needs to be done at the end of the day. So go check it out. Getting things done. Remember the milk.com. My recommendations. If you have any questions about any of them, need some ex more extended help with them, please let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter contact page over at SorgatronMedia.com or the upcoming sidekick media services.com. If you need some more professional help, well, not that professional help, but yeah, you know. I'm like a social media shrink of a sort.
That's probably a grand statement, but we'll see. Thank you so much for joining me and supporting the basic Sorgonomics and everything else we're going on around here at SorgatronMedia.com. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.